guys, this is Isabella. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be how I customize my iPhone with the new iOS 14 update. I'm going to show you what I have and like how I put it on my home screen. For those of you who haven't seen my what's on my iPhone video before this, um, definitely check that out if you're interested in videos like that. Uh, this layout's a, a little bit different, um, obviously because I did customize it a little bit. I have added photos and other widgets and stuff like that to my home screen. So if you're interested in seeing how I customize my iPhone with iOS 14, then just keep on watching. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Isabella, welcome. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications. That way you are notified whenever I upload and you don't miss out. I upload every Saturday. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. They'll be on the screen. And let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So right here is my home screen. And then this is, well, it was my lock screen and now it's my home screen. So you can definitely tell if you watched my last video or my what's on my iPhone that I'll leave in the cards right here on the top. Obviously, the first thing you're gonna wanna do if you haven't updated your phone to the newest iOS 14 update, then definitely go ahead and do that. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is download Widget Smith, um, which is this app right here. Um, and you can also download um, color widget or photo widget. So I use, I have all three of those. If you can't tell, look, if you can't tell when you scroll down, those are the three right here on the top. Widget Smith, photo widget, and color widget. So I just clicked on widget Smith. Those are how I got the like date, calendar, and stuff like that, and medium and small widgets that are on my screen. So I'm gonna show you you, well, what you can do here is if you wanted to add a small widget, you would go here and then click on small widget and then click on it and then, yeah, click on it and then you can change it from the type of style. So they have time, date, calendar, reminders, weather, and they also have health and activity, tides, astronomy. Now, I did pay for like the, what is it the one dollar a month membership thing um and i did i did cancel it because i um i wanted to see what um how like what kind of features those were offered because like the tide one i think the astronomy feature on here and the weather one don't come with the free version so if you're interested in the tides and astronomy and whatnot um and obviously they're going to be different layouts and i did want the weather layout let me show you guys so the weather layout that I have is right here for medium widgets, it's this pink one. And I want to show you guys how to add a widget from here. So once you save it, you click save, right? Then you go to your home screen. I'm gonna add it. I was gonna add this photo here. Okay, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna move this photo. I'm gonna move this widget. Oops. I'm gonna move this widget, edit, home screen. And so then I'm just going to move this to the other side right here. And then for the sake of this, you're going to click, um, well, that's, you're going to click that and click and then type in widget Smith. And you're going to select medium widget for this one that I'm doing. And then you see that it already picked one for me that I already have here, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to click done and done. And then you're going to click on there, hold and say edit widget. And then you're gonna go to medium one, which is the one I wanted. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it to the bottom right here. And that's the weather for today. I thought this was a really cute layout. I honestly love this. I have a picture of my dog because she passed away last year and I miss her. And I always, I used to have her as my like lock screen photo, but I love the other, I like the lock screen and like home screen background that I have now so I wanted her to still be on my home screen so I just put her there and then I have a picture of me and Zach along with the date right here September 26th, 2000 or 2020 and it's Saturday so yeah. So you can customize the colors on widget smith of like your widgets so if you go to like let's use this small three for example, click on it. So 
they're different styles, right? Like I was saying. And then you can change the font. So we're gonna do the calendar ones so it's easy to see. So we have that one selected, right? Then you can do the font. You have different fonts available. New York is like the cutest one, I think, in my opinion. So we're gonna do that. You can choose your tint color for like the letters. So I, what I have on my home screen right now is white. You can barely see it, I think, but for the sake of this, we can do, let's just, okay, we'll do that. And then background color, you can pick from any one of these. These are all so cute. I love the pale pink. It's my favorite. Um, the one on my home screen, on the first page of my home screen is the 90%. Um, so we can do cream just for this right and then that's all you have to do so then you go back here and then you click save and then you can see all the widgets that you've created here you can also make larger widgets too that take up half your screen I'm gonna show you now how to add photos through widget smith so it's a little bit different. Uh, it's a lot less simple than doing it through photo widget, for example, but photo widget doesn't always work, at least in my opinion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your photos, and then I have like all the, I have a bunch of like Animal Crossing stuff, I'm sorry. Okay, but from Pinterest, I have some photos and stuff and designs that I've saved like for my wallpapers and these have really been, these are cute also for like, um, you know, customizing your home screen. So what I'm gonna do is I actually, I saved this one. I already saved this pattern from Louis Vuitton into a different album. So for an example, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna save this one. So this is a photo of a beautiful rainbow and I love it. So, so to add a photo to um, Widget Smith, in order to become a widget for your home screen, you need to go to your album. You click on the photo that you want, right? And then you click the export button. And then you click on add to album. Oh, sorry. Add to album, you click new album and then name it. So this is gonna be rainbow or whatever. And save. So then what you're gonna do, then you're gonna go to widget smith. And then you're gonna want to tie. You're gonna want to do like a small widget. I'm gonna do a small widget just because um, it's a rainbow. So then you add, you click add widget, and then go edit it, like I was showing you earlier. So you click on default default widget. But instead of choosing all of the date ones, so you're gonna go where it says photo, and you're gonna click that, and you're gonna scroll up where it's, you're gonna click where it says favorites or whatever. I have a lot of albums, so I'm gonna save you all the time of showing you this, and just find it for you really quick. Once you find that photo, you're gonna highlight it, which I just did, and then you're gonna go back to square, like to the top where it says small four, and then click save. And then you're gonna go to your home screen, and then you're going to, <sighs> this is gonna take a lot of customization. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna move some stuff. I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna delete this really quick just for the sake of this right now. I'll move it, I'll add it back later. But look, just to show you guys, you go, you hold it down, you click on the plus, you type in widget smith, and you add small widget. So as you can see, it looks the same, right? So what you're gonna do, you select it again, you select the widget that looks the same that you wanna change and click small four. There we go. And then, that should be it. So then you can change where you put it and whatnot, obviously. Yeah. So let's just do it like that. That's basically, um, that's basically how my lock screen and my home screen look, well, my lock screen did change, like I said. But that's basically how I'm customizing my phone. For those of you who wanna know how to do the shortcut app thing to cover up the apps, which I might try doing. Let's just go to Pinterest right now and look for some, oh, that's so cute. I have all of these like, so I'm gonna save, I have like boards and stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I save, I found some cute things I'm gonna do. 
and I did hear a few things like I've heard that you don't get notifications when you have like a shortcut cover on certain applications so we're gonna see it um, if I like that shortcut method or not if you have any Instagram highlight cover things that you have it's pretty much the same thing I am not a big fan of this um, but I can try to use one from my board so I have I have a private thing with all of my things that I save and whatnot. I thought I just saved a new one. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I have all of these. I have some nails in there because I actually saved it. It's the wrong thing. Same with Animal Crossing. But basically, um, I have all these backgrounds. Like, I put that one there earlier. And you're going to go to the plus sign at the top. You're going to click on the search bar right here and click on open app or type in open app and then the action is going to be right here and you're going to choose the app that you want to open so we're just like i was saying we're going to use instagram and then we're going to do next and then write instagram once you have that set up that once you already added it and everything or the, added the shortcut and you're going to go to three dots at the top click add to home screen you type instagram again and then you're gonna click on the little icon on the bottom part and click on choose photo. And we're gonna do the cheetah for this one, just or the leopard, whatever you wanna call it. And that's how it's gonna look on the home screen. And then click done, and then done. And then you're gonna see Instagram is right here. I mean, it's right here too. And then you can click on this one and it'll take you to shortcuts and then I'll open the app. So that's how you did for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you like watching these videos because I love customizing anything that I possibly can. It's a really fun update for me. Um, so if you like stuff like this, let me know Comment down below what your favorite thing about this iOS update is or if you even like it because I know some people might not like it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I will see you guys in my next one.